Try to talk to her for a year, fam? For 365 days straight. He didn't even miss Thanksgiving. He was like, my family eating, but I had to come try to get that one more time. <laughs> oh, sh Anthony Hamilton is in this mother. <laughs> come on home to me, Charlene. Head ass. I see your album about to come out. <laughs> God damn. This a couple? This is y'all together? Anthony Hamilton. And you got on a little Flintstones joint. I like that. <laughs> yeah, but never do dress wearing ass. <laughs> Who drove? How'd you stop the car? <laughs> that looked like a Flintstone dress. So you guys are a couple? That's amazing. How long y'all been together? Six months. Six months? Man. Does that count? That's barely. She only had four periods since y'all started dating, man. I don't think that that's a real relationship. <laughs> she hasn't even seen your whole hat collection yet. Six months. How did y'all meet? Yeah, let's talk about it. You were a stripper too? No. Oh, shit. <laughs> she was like, mm -mm -mm. Did I, you didn't tell me how y'all met. The show just kept happening. You just panicked. We together. You what? We worked together. You worked together? Yeah. At the quarry? Because <laughs> you're a Flintstone. So where? <laughs> where did y'all work at? Uh, we are in property management. Why you say it like this is first 48? <laughs> like, I feel like you're not going to tell me more specifics. Uh, we are in... Uh, Property management. I got some cocaine in my butt right now. <laughs> Where you work at, man? Uh, I do HVAC work. You do HVAC work. Okay. All right. Uh, you ever had one of them go out? And you need some parts made or fabricated? Uh, <laughs> Don't go to him. It's gonna take ten years to get the goddamn part you're waiting on. <laughs> so you work in HVAC, and she work in management. At the same place? Yeah. So technically, I'm his boss. No, not technically. <laughs> You're actually his boss. <laughs> You'd be like, uh, the air is out in unit A15. And he'd be like, all right, I'm going to go fix it, Cheryl. <laughs> so this is a real love story. How many times you had to go by the, uh, the main office where people pay their bills before she started taking you serious? Every day. Every day. You stop by every day. How you doing, baby girl? How you doing? She was like, uh, the air is out in B44. Get the out of here <laughs> what'd you do to get did you you hollered at her every day were you bringing her like chocolates and shit? like how'd you win her over you didn't holler at work so where'd you holler at y'all had an after work place y'all went the little bar you was at a party oh man the, the AC just went out man we might need you to go up on the roof <laughs> Might need you to go up on the roof and fix that. That motherfucker stopped while I was talking to you. You got people here? This nigga says, uh, Jeremiah, turn this motherfucker off. He talking, to, he talking to me and Bam Bam, and we don't want to discuss how we met each other. Turn it off. Y'all been together two months. You only got one more month where y'all can be a secret. Around three months, he going to come in there cussing you out and shit. Don't tell me what need another AC unit, bitch. <laughs> Chicken. That's what I want you to make for dinner tonight. They're going to be like, what the fuck is he telling you what he want for dinner? Because we live together. <laughs> I'm Barney. <laughs> she Fred. <laughs> what did you say at the bar, man? It takes some real rizzle, dizzle, razzle, dazzle to take your boss down at a bar after work. She shot her shot at you? Shut up. No, okay, I mean... Yeah, let's just talk about life. Why was you not sharing? Put the drink down and talk to him. No, so he tried to talk to me for a whole year. Wait a minute, he didn't say that part? He did. He did. You tried to talk to her for a year, fam? For a whole year. For 365 days straight. He didn't even miss Thanksgiving. He was like, my family eating, but I had to come try to get that one more time. <laughs> 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 
So you hollered at her every day for a year. No, nah, I don't want to talk to you no more because you lying. Your ego is involved. I want her to describe how thirsty you looked coming in there every single day. Were you curving him or were you just kind of entertaining him a little bit? Like, stop. For sure, yeah, because of work. But what it was was somebody else from work tried to talk to him and I was like, oh, I better get him before. Mm. It took the addition of another woman to make you come out the rock quarry. To come on home, Charlene. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay.